I'm not joking anymore. <laughs> I'm not joking. Show me that footage right now. <laughs> go look at go see if it's still there. So just take a train. Screw everything I said earlier today. My little seat, like it's like a little butt extender. They they didn't have a map because that's probably not requested much anymore. Um, but Tira said, "Why don't we just travel our skills or practice our skills for when Amazing Race happens one day?" So they gave me an old beat-up map that uh, <laughs> this is literally the last thing they had. Okay, this is where we are, London. We're, we may need more detailed map than this. <laughs> oh, we're yeah. going to that. So Wes will be driving on the uh, right side of the road. He's on the right side of the vehicle. And he will be using a stick shift with his left hand. Let's make it interesting. So tell me what gear it's in. I have no idea. Not even out of the parking lot. We've already stalled twice. <laughs> I believe in you, bud. Oh jeez. <laughs> He's losing faith in us. <laughs> Are you okay with stick shift? I think we got it now, yeah. You, sure? you know I do drive a stick shift in America. Oh right, okay. Just their different hand. It's right. I think I got this one. If you're not okay, I'd rather you say we get you a different car because you're about to go on the motorway and I don't want you to stall on the motorway. I oh, know, I will, I'm just getting used to it, honestly. Giving it a little more gas than okay. normal. Alright, have a safe drive, okay? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> we figured out Wes was just in the wrong gear. <laughs> That's well, it. Thank you. There you go. We did it. Good job, Bo. Turn this thing off. I turned it off. If it says parking brake on, yeah. But when, when you start it up again, if it says parking brake on, you just push it down. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Not at all. I can't think of anything worse. You just made it. If you never tried, you never experience it. Thank you for your help. Very nice people. <laughs> Couldn't get in reverse there for a hot minute. And we had a huge line waiting on us. And every, like a parking lot, like the people whose car we were close to hitting, but trying really hard not to, were standing there watching us. It got kind of stressful, but West Wages is so cool headed. He can handle anything. The complete opposite of me. Sometimes we eat at the Ivy, and sometimes we eat Burger King. Wes just asked me if I was ready. The question is, are you ready? I <laughs> see. Now that we know how the reverse works. Now that we know that you have to push the button for reverse, it, uh, you know, mm -hmm. is learning new things. My nerves are a little sharp, but... Olive and Walter, I want you to know that as you get older, one thing that'll happen is you'll begin to appreciate and love the taste of things that may seem disgusting as you are younger. Oh, I thought you were gonna give like this life lessons of like, Olive and Walter, I want you to know as you get older, there are gonna be things you don't know how to do, but always stop and ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong. I wasn't done, I was gonna add that. Oh, were you gonna add that? Yeah. There is though, it's like, you know, in there, uh, your mom and I just realized that we work really well together because I'm in My the- mom? No, I was talking to Oliver <laughs> Walter. Okay. I'm an initiator and I'm a starter. I'm not a good finisher. Tira is a good finisher, but may she gets a little bit nervous about start starting things. So uh, we work really well together in that aspect. So. So those are three life lessons. Those are three, that not we just one. gave you. Yeah. For free. But because there's not a car here, I'm gonna go ahead and go so I don't have to back up. Alright. But let's practice real quick. Okay. You got it. I know what I'm doing now, I think. Where's the um And we did stall out on the highway one time. 
once. <laughs> Wes had literally just said, I wish I could call that guy and let him know, hey, I've got this. Where's my phone? And then we stalled. I'm breaking out the map because we're only halfway there and I need to know how far away. That's the worst thing. We can use the map and we've, we have not used the GPS yet. We've done really well and we're on our way. Like we're basically just staying on the same road. But I need to know what time we're gonna get there because it's 2.50 right now. And there's a lot of traffic. And I just wanna know what time we're gonna get there. Every car that was in front of us turned around. never allowed to run a car again. My butt is so tense right now. I love you, Tara, but you haven't been that great at directions. That is bull Tara, just a minute ago you said, I said, do I take a left? You're like, maybe. Okay. <laughs> no, because this is exactly what happened earlier, okay? He needed to take a left and the little arrow had not caught up. He's going too fast for me to know, is this the actual road or is it actually the next road? I'm not 100%. You gotta look ahead, you can't follow the GPS. I was trying to see if the name was Wells Road on this thing and it didn't. It never said Wells Road. How? 100% sure that this was Wells Road? No, because I didn't see a sign for Wells Road. He wanted to rent the car. We usually travel by train which happens to be my favorite form of transportation. I've done a very good job, I got us here. You're welcome. I'll go ahead and take your, take your thank you. You were just criticizing me. Bubby, that was stressful for me. Don't be mad at me. That was a very stressful three hours for me. I didn't let you show or see it. So is it worth it to drive? I would rather take a uh, car now. Take I mean, a train? Take a train now. You know, we drove in Ireland, but I, th I don't think Ireland was as busy. I was so stressed the entire, the entire time we were in Ireland. Now looking back, I don't remember being I, that as stressed as I was today. Amy, Lindley, you can vouch for me. Well, Lindley wasn't no, in our was, car. Uh, it was uh, Heather. Amy and Heather. I was so stressed the entire time we were in Ireland. But Wes wants to drive. His favorite form of transportation, well, he loves airplanes, but he loves to drive. You love to drive. I do. There's a lot of signs that I don't know. So an X could mean go this way. But what about our today? whole like, ooh, it's worth the adventure. Is that just out the window? We already did it. <laughs> I know, but for other people. Um, most people haven't driven a car, so, or most people drive cars all the time in the States, so they can take a train. That would be adventurous. Yeah, Wes even drives a stick and it was still hard. So just take a train. Screw everything I said earlier today. It just makes me so mad. But we've arrived at our room. It's nice. And it was worth it. They have a DVD player. And as the American that I am, I'm very excited about that. Oh, this is nice. It may be something where you need to touch base with Karen and say, hey, what kind of, what exactly do you want? Join liver and kidney <laughs> of rabbit, Y Valley asparagus, Roscoff onion, braised rice, and oats. 
and then to cleanse We the gotta cancel this reservation. <laughs> you just want Papa John's. <laughs> we're uh, we're looking at a we're looking at a restaurant view of the place we're about to go to. That you have to like get on their dinner reservations. They only have like I don't know, look like twelve seats in there. <laughs> <laughs> and everything on here, Tira would be disgusted. There's no way I would eat a single thing that this woman has shown. <laughs> I thought this place was not gonna be so weird. I'm the one who made this reservation. I know. <laughs> and I did it because, I think it's this way. Because Wes loves experiences, and, and I do too, but he will eat anything. And I thought, okay, for six courses, there may be one I don't eat. I didn't expect to not want to eat five out of six. Now, we don't know what tonight's menu is, but the video that we just watched, I wouldn't eat five out of six of those things. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Luckily, You're right. we are staying 0.2 miles away. And this that's just like a miracle. That it's literally at the end of the road that we're staying on. So, we don't have to get back in the car and drive anywhere. Thank and the Lord. So a couple just got kicked out because they actually built up they didn't, and their reservation was never confirmed. And so I tried to convince Wes to sell more seats. He said no. They have crispy snail. And? Black salt, some balsamic vinegars, some kind of butter. I don't know what this is. It's I think on, that's the butter. Oh, it's and, on a bone. And bread. And bread. I will be eating the bread. I don't know, maybe I'll eat snail. I've had one before. Cheers. It was good, but then it got to me halfway through. Snail apples. Uh, we have black pudding, mushrooms, tomatoes. Um, this is a. Uh, and it's a potato? It is what? Uh, pork, pork belly or something. Oh, on top, yeah. I don't remember everything, but the main part is it's a fish like cod. So, nothing scary here. I'm so full. This is the sixth meal. It's so full. Okay, so we have a duck. Potatoes. Sweet potato puree. Candy hazelnuts. Yep. The food has been delicious. Um, really great. And I'm glad we stayed instead of just ordering off a John. Are you glad? Mixed emotions. I didn't eat the duck. This is a pre dessert. The pre dessert is a sorbet with cucumbers and apple tart. This is a Maribel tart. Maribels are only in season for three weeks out of the year in France. Amazing. Okay, we're on our walk back. How was it? I mean, it was good. It's a little refined for my taste. Yeah, but Burger it, King today. <laughs> it's all about balance. <laughs> Burger King for lunch, five star Michelin chef for dinner. That's funny. There's a spider. Where? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's a spider! <laughs> it's like it would drop down on your head as soon as you get underneath it. I really don't know about that. It's gonna drop. <laughs> Still there. Still there. Hey, I seriously don't see it, T. You better start checking. You look at. I'm not joking. I'm really not. I'm not joking anymore. <laughs> I'm not joking. Show me that footage right now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not checking up there. I think so. I don't want to know a thing. Wes, we definitely saw it a minute ago. <laughs> I don't see it on you. <laughs> T, 
Tira. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, it's still there. Oh, we need to pick out a movie. This is it, right? This is it, right? I think it's somebody's apartment. Tears looking at movies. We never get to watch movies anymore. This has been in my Amazon queue for a year. It was a good day. It was a good day. It was a good day. Yep. We made it. We made it. Had a, I mean, excellent dinner, despite the things that I wouldn't eat. I didn't eat the blood pudding. I didn't eat the duck. I did eat the snail. Sometimes, adventures have rough moments. Sometimes you get mad at each other and you criticize each other. And sometimes you want to throw the other person out the window and leave them on the side of the road. No, I've never had those Oh, thoughts. okay, sorry. Um, Seriously. Sometimes you just have those hard moments, but you try really hard not to let it affect the rest of the day. You put your big girl panties on and you keep trucking and you forgive each other and uh, try not to criticize each other and point the finger. And um, yeah, have, then do something relaxing after that. Our dinner was a two and a half hour dinner. We walked there, we walked back, just took a bath, like we're gonna spend the rest of the night watching a movie, relaxing and just hanging out with each other, so. Olive. Do you want to come? Oh, the puppy dog is sleeping? Rooster is sleeping. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. What, is, what does the rooster say when it wakes up? Great job. It says, cock a doo doo. -doo. Uh -uh.